Hey everyone, this is Christy over at Boston and Sullivan, and today I just wanted to share a little video with you going over the way we make digital negatives here at Boston and Sullivan. And so first things first, you just want to go ahead and open up your photo, and if you have never edited it yet, go ahead and do that right now, and edit it exactly the way you want it in black and white, like if it's in color, just, you know, use this black and white tool or however it is you edit in black and white, get everything to where you want it to be. And then you want to go ahead, after you've made all your adjustments, you want to click on the background, right click, and then flatten the image. So that way it's only the one layer that you are working with. And after that, we're going to make it sure that it's in a black and white color profile. And so you go to edit, convert to profile, and mine's already in gray gamma 2.2, but yours may not be, so this is what it looks like. And you may only have the Grey Gamma 1.8, that is fine, it works with, that's the one that is on older models. I use the Grey Gamma 2.2 because I have a relatively newish computer and it's updated to be more calibrated with the new uh, Mac screens. And so you want to go ahead and put your color space into Grey Gamma 2.2. Alright, and then after that you go up to Images, Adjustments, Curves. And so if you have been emailed the curve but have never opened it, never used it, you want to make sure you save it to your computer. It could be in the download file, it can be wherever, but as long as it's saved to your computer, you can go to this preset options up here, hit load preset, and then you know just go, go ahead and find wherever it is in your computer. Mine happens to be right in front of my face, so we're just going to click on that and open it. And um, once you have used it, it'll be, you know, in this area already so you won't have to load it every time but if you haven't loaded it yet that is how you load it so you click OK curve is applied and then you want to you want to go to image adjustments invert so now you have a negative um, and then we're gonna print but right before we print we want to go to image image size it's always a good idea to just size your print before you print it because especially if you are making several negatives, several different color negatives from this image, you want them all to be the same size, you don't want any difference. So it's always a good idea to just um, size everything first. So I'm just going to make mine easy, 5x7. Uh, print resolution is normally at 360, but 300 works just as well, but 360 is just a little bit better. Alright, so we've done that, and now we are going to go to print. So you go to File, Print, Command P is the shortcut on a Mac, Control P is the shortcut on a PC. And so first things first is you want to make sure that you are in Printer Manages Colors. If you are in Photoshop Manages Colors, you will not get to the screens that you need to get to, so make sure you are in Printer Manages Colors. After that, you go up to Print Settings, make sure that your paper is the size it needs to be, click on the Layout tool and go to Color Matching. And so when you are working with Photoshop Manages Colors, it's going to automatically be on Color Sync. You want to be on the printer color controls. You don't want to be on Photoshop Color Sync. So click on your Epson color controls. Then you want to go to Print Settings. And so it's going to show up like this. Photo Glossy is great for the pictorial paper. Um, and you're also working with Photo Black. And so you want to make sure that you are in Paper Glossy. And then you have to change your color to advanced black and white. Fine adjustment is great. Super photo is great. I like to turn off the high speed on my printer just so I know it's printing with a little bit more care. It's not moving as fast through the printer. And then from there, you go to advanced color settings. And when you first go into this, everything here is going to be at zero. And this tone is going to be at, dark it, at darker, but you want to make sure it is on darkest. And then just watch this photo as I do this over here at the color wheel in the vertical axis. We're going to set this to 75. And what this does is that it sets the printer to work with more yellow ink. And yellow ink is more, it lets less UV light through, therefore creating a denser negative. And so we've created a more dense negative by doing that. And for platinum palladium printing, for with this curve, you want to set this max opt optical density to negative 5 because it just lowers the contrast just a little bit and kind of gets it to where you want. So it's not too contrasty, it's just it's just right. And if you can tell when I do this, it just makes it a little bit more opaque. 
it makes the blacks a little less black. And that is all set. You got your vertical axis to 75, your max absolute density to negative 5, that tone darkest. We go to print settings again, down to paper configuration. We want to set our color density to 20%. It's normally going to be at zero, but in order to make our negatives just a little bit more dense, we want to use more ink when we're printing, and so we set it to 20%. And so we made our negative more dense by using the yellow ink, which lets which allows less UV light to go through and we have increased the ink that gets put down onto the paper, therefore making it more dense. And then I'm just going to go back here to the original page, the layout page, and I just want to mention the flip horizontally button. You can flip your image before you go to print in Photoshop with under image, but um, I just like to click this flip horizontally button because then I don't have to worry about forgetting to do that first step. I just know that my printer is always going to flip it for me. Just remember that when you go to print something normally on an inkjet paper that you might want to turn that off so everything prints the right way. Hit save. So everything is set and you can just go ahead and hit print and then you can print it on your paper and you know what, have fun making some platinum palladium prints. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email us on the contact form or to give us a call at 505-474-0890. We are open 9 to 5 and we love questions. We do our best to answer any and all questions. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.